from Cinnamon Cooney, your art Sherpa. Welcome to the live, or if you're here on the replay, much love. This is going to be about repairing dents and tears in a canvas. I'm going to explain that to you, talk to you about the ramifications of what that means for you, and show you the steps how you can do that at home. I'm kind of wondering today, John, John, who's on the mic today, is hey guys. tracking me with cameras to make sure you can see all the steps and also reading your comments. So if you have a pertinent question, he can make sure, well, I mean, even if you have a non-pertinent question, <laughs> he can make sure that that gets communicated to me. If it gets crazy with questions, then we'll just do an after show to catch up with everything. But right now we're gonna be talking about those damaged canvases. To be clear, I'm not gonna talk about the repair of stretcher bars, the wood. This is just gonna be about the canvas because these are two different things that can go wrong with your canvas and they kind of need different attention. Okay. But I don't mind answering questions about either. You guys right. ready to we repair are. some canvases? Definitely ready. Because I, I had some torn canvases and then I stabbed some canvases that I had. We and then we actually we had some accidental stabbings. Yeah, we did. We lost. Um, you guys might know this canvas. We lost this little uh, deer. Yeah. Earlier today, not today. Earlier, earlier. At some point, it's when the studio's been moving, it's. So when the acrylic paint is on the canvas and when it's varnished, it actually in some sense is more del delicate, and more likely to tear. It's just you know. It's just the nature of painting. Um, so this can happen to anyone. Certainly there is, and this is really good news for you. There is a mountain of information about canvas restoration because most restoration companies actually produce articles and stuff like that. So artists really have access to this these days. If you um, also have really specifically weird damage, um, stuff like I'm molding my canvas, which I've answered for some people before, um, or, you know, some crazy thing, like I got blood on my canvas, which I answered for people before. Another resource, if you can't reach me and you're like in a panic, is Wet Canvas. It's a really good blog that artists should join. How you doing today, John? Good, good. I'm trying I'm to... ready. What's everybody up to? <laughs> they, were just no, they were just letting me know that our sound was a little low, so I just had to slowly bring it up. No, no, was it? No, it's not you. It's oh. Now it's you. <laughs> Okay, I think now we're it's little, me. I think we're Do we need down. to start over? No, <laughs> no we're okay. <laughs> what it was is that I had the sound a little low to start with, and then I've been slowly bringing it back up to level. Oh, okay. And then you spoke up. And oh, it was okay. <laughs> really loud. It's okay. okay. <laughs> please, please hang in. We're all doing okay. So we have a, it's like we have all our crew out here. They're all having a great time. There's Are lots you guys of sharp and pets. I see, our uh, I see Mark and Mona and Flame, and I see. Well, uh, Flame's right well, here I in the know, house, so we know she's it, here. It, it, they're in the chat, though, and Donna's out there with us as well. Donna. Thank you, Donna. And I think I saw Stephanie earlier. I'm not I sure. I saw Steffi Cakes, and I saw some new people that I got to say hi oh to my today gosh, before a, the show. Yeah, there's a bunch of new people out here. I had a lot, a lot of, uh, and yeah, Steffi was out here, and uh, it, was, it was really, so Ian. Yeah, Mona was Ian informing people that our chat is like, cheers, you got to say Norm when anybody comes in. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Everyone, uh, you, we know everybody, so everybody's got to. Materials, I bet oh, they yes. want to know them. Oh yeah, like, like comment, subscribe. Like Share. oh yeah, like comment and subscribe. Okay. If you'd like more amazing and yet free art tips like this, please like, please comment. Not just during the live chat, but in the after show. Yeah. Um, a lot of times I don't get to see what's happening in the live chat, so I make decisions about future programming, and how things are going based on your comments, um, in the after show. So you guys will say, hey, the sound was really weird, and that's how we know, or that camera angle was messed up, or I really, really need a hippo. Yeah. Paint a hippo. I, I have, I have a, somebody who's like, please, please paint grease. They're on all my social media. I'm, if you guys end up painting Santorini, <laughs> it's going to be because a very dedicated person has hit Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and is like, grease. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking the Greek wedding movie, <laughs> Greek. <laughs> All right. Your materials, I'm using, I get this, I have a little bit, like how much do we have? It's like a yard, it's not yeah, a lot. We've got a yard of it, it was just. Like of this raw linen dollars. canvas. Look, this is acid free, doesn't have any weird adhesions on it. It's just the natural canvas that your art is made out of. And it's kind of what you're sort of expected to use if you're doing your art on a more serious level. But of course, you know, if you're just doing this for yourself, other options are available. And there's never one way to do things in art. This is just a way that's really good that I use. Other artists right. might also have good ways too. So it's good to look around and learn all the ways you have a lot of tools. So I have these little canvases and I tend to cut them first in little squares. 
that are going to fix, uh, be my tear. So you see a little tear here. Ouch. And a little tear there. Ouch. Right? That could happen. This no. happened with scissors. <laughs> right? And then, yeah. So the first thing that I need to do. Where are you going? Right? Oh, wait. I, and I need also in my materials soft gel. Oh. Some soft people gel. use PVA glue. I like soft gel by Golden. Yeah. Right? It's just my fit. It, it's flexible. It's acid free. It's made for art. And I can count on it. You can have gesso. I, again, gesso? have this gesso. We've talked about this. What's the most white gesso? Golden. Golden. If you needed it to be more white, you could actually contact them and get some. Okay. That's even more white. And modeling paste. Right. So now before we go on, I'm going to come stunt hands you for a second. What's wrong? Is my sound really bad? We, do we need to do it over? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have a palette knife. Okay. I have scissors. I have the colors to repair my painting. And of course, a cup of water. So that is the whole kit and caboodle of tools that you need. All right, let's show me this one more time real quick. A um, palette knife. knife, scissors, Yeah. and, then and the, colors the, the, to repair your painting. Okay, so we got Cause that. Because you're going to have to paint back over where it's damaged. All right. First thing I'm going to do, cut the corners of your patch. Because if you cut the corners of your patch, it doesn't lift up as much. Now, John's an Eagle Scout. Oh, out of the mirror, and he can verify. He probably has a patch badge. <laughs> <laughs> we had to make our own badges. You had to make your own badge. So he probably has one, and you just want to make it round so the edges don't lift up. I'm going to open up my soft gloss and get my little brush. And I just put a coat of gloss right on this patch. Now, Timothy was asking. Are, uh, are you sponsored by any of these companies? I am not sponsored by any company. I, I know some companies, like, I know them, but in no way a financial way. No. And, and we do. <laughs> like, I've worked with them a lot of years. Sometimes I've toured their factories and gotten to know them better. But a lot of times that's about making sure that when I talk about a place or a company, I'm placing this down uh, flat. It, it's so that I know they're good people. Does that make sense? Yeah. So he, sometimes I'll verify that people are good people. Yes. So it's so helpful. He was asking like if the golden, if you were sponsored by Golden, or if you were sponsored by the the Simply no. Simmons. It, or it, 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 here, it, here, no, no. Uh, Rachel Fox likes me a lot at Simply Simmons, so I get stuff from her, and I think <laughs> I've probably been very beneficial to them. But they've been beneficial to me. They make a good three dollar brush, and Golden. Yeah, definitely am not a golden. Let me really state this. I'm definitely not a golden artist. Those are some amazing people, and the people at Golden are amazing. Your mic's tipping. Oh, it's the tape has gone. Oh, I'll fix that. The tape is gone. My my sticky tape must be gone. Oh, that's all it is. All right. Now I'm pressing this patch down. See, I'm brushing this down. Yeah. I might even use some gel on this side, and I'm making sure there's no wrinkles. I'm yeah. pushing this down. See? Yeah. And I'm making sure that there's just no wrinkles. I'm gonna do this again on this side. So definitely make sure there's some gel on this side. And that this no. is a wet to wet mounting method. <laughs> it's advertising art. It's a big deal. <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure there's a nice amount of this soft gel on this patch. Now the the patch material is just linen canvas, raw linen canvas. You could also, if you had a roll of primed canvas, that'll work too. You can just cut off a little patch of canvas. And. You know, so you guys know, I bought this at Texas Art Supply, and yep. it was on the roll. It's un, it was uncoated. Yep, unprimed. It's raw. Unprimed. It was the thinnest linen canvas or thinnest canvas material that they had. I don't even know if it was linen. It was the cheapest yeah, thinnest it, it, material they had. Yeah, it, I think it is linen, but <laughs> I think oh, they, I think they may have sometimes. You cotton. can do it. You can do unprimed cotton. Yeah. You just want it sturdy enough. You wouldn't want to use like a like a. I really need the tape, babe. It's really twisting. You got it. Um. You would want it sturdy enough so that it supports the canvas. Because now now you've had a break in the canvas and you, you have to realize this stuff is stretched tight. You're likely gonna have to re-tighten the drum in some way. And this puts a lot of pressure and stress on where the repair is. Hold on just a second. Fix him up. Okay. So, okay. Well, for those of you that hang in, you'll know how to fix your canvas. This takes about, give this about, 
um you know a couple hours to dry in general before you get to the next step and you just keep this flat you can put a weight on it if yeah. if your canvas is like bulky you know you want this down and supported you can put a weight on it i had another one here where did it go oh it's down on the ground oh. <laughs> <laughs> where i can show you the next stage and you can kind of see see how that tear looks right now so I'm going to put this down on the ground to continue. That didn't happen. So here we go. Here we go. Stage Do you two. see this here? Yes. This opening. Like a T. This is a tear you commonly get in canvas. Something punctures through and it creates this like triangle. This one is particularly rough. Right? I feel like this is a hot mess quest, babe. <laughs> I've been great. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so here we are, and I pulled out about a little bead of modeling paste. And I'm going to just take my palette knife and fill this crack. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. I'm just filling the crack. And I'll smooth it. I don't really want ridges, but look, you go back and sand it afterwards, you won't even see that. Now, for my type of painting, I barely even need to go back and work it again because I'm fairly textural in my painting. But what I'm trying to do is just seal that tear so I can paint over it. Now, Betty had a question here. I have an answer, Betty. She says, can I use the paintbrush again after I do this technique? Or are you cratering a, d does it destroy a, a paintbrush? When I'm not what? sure. She, she, was, she said, can I use- The uh, knife, the paintbrush? Can I, I use the paintbrush again after I do this technique? So I'm, I'm does, it, does this in any way damage- Oh, the paintbrush, the soft gel. No, soft gel doesn't damage your paintbrush at all. You just wash it out when you're done. Oh, okay, cool. Soft gel is a is a uh, golden soft gel is used in multimedia. It's used as an extender in paint, right? So, like, if you're trying to save a little money, you can mix a paint into the soft gel, and then it makes your paint go further. So, if you're a really expensive color, so just wash it out and it'll be fine. Yeah, you just wash it out and it's fine. I've got a great how to repair a brush video coming up, though. If you ever have a brush problem, I know I got to finish amazing. my. I got to finish my edits. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys. I'll get on it. I'll get on it. All right, so if I had, and I have, you have repaired my canvas. You know what I forgot was white paint, sweetheart. Oh no, I get it. Can you give me the white? How do I? This I'm is the episode of thing. forgetfulness. It is cinnamon is always forgetful. That is what the Sherpa struggle with. I'm putting out some acrylic paint. This is what my original painting was painting with. So I want to make sure that I put this out. And John's gonna get the uh, robot cam. Yes. Yeah. Is it not working? Okay, good. Just white. It would be in the tub of white. So it would be in the tub of white. I do label my tubs. But there's like four of them because I separate them up into color families. I'm not nearly as organized as half of you. So you get, you get your acrylic paint out. Now you can just any white. Gesso over your repair. Like when you sand it, you could gesso over that. I don't really, because I use flexible modeling paste and it's a product made for acrylic painting and it's made to bond and adhere to acrylic paint, I don't have to gesso. I can just paint right over my repair. Can we see that right here? Well, no, not oh, quite yet. Not I quite wait. Yet. I gotta get. This is a quick quest. So if you is guys it? have more Q&A, and then I'll tell you about the, um, about resale, because I'm sure that's something you're wondering, like, can I sell it after it's damaged? I also got to tell you about dents. Dents are super easy, though doesn't even need its whole vi uh, its own video. Huh. All right. So I'm going to oh, take no, a little no, no, of my one, blue one out. Second. I've got to hold on just a second. You got to you got to bear with me. Okay. Gotta... <clears throat> just need to make sure that they can see how how well it repairs. So this has been dry for a little while. I followed the manufacturer instructions and let it dry for several hours. Okay. Now we can go. And so it's ready to take paint. So I'm just going to take my paint and I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna paint right over the damaged spot in the same way like if I just had a regular boo-boo. Yeah. This is no different than a regular boo-boo. Right? No different than any other boo-boo that could boo-boo my canvas. I'm just trying to repair and kind of do some similar little brush stroke techniques so it, 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 it feels like what I had before. Right? Yeah. So oftentimes you'll use a smaller brush, right? 
if you do a portrait, you're going to need to do several coats and, a, and several sanding layers if you're doing if you're pairing a portrait canvas because those are in such thin glazes. Oh, yeah. Right? But this is sort of basically it, you know, and then you would come back and, like, repair your, you know, your black. There, make sure you just hide all signs that it happened. All right? There you go. Tear. Repaired. That's all it takes. Yeah. I can go right back. See? Can't even... Where did it... That you that's you can't even see that it's there. No, it's it, a huge tear. If you spin the other direction, if you if you if you no 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 you, oh yeah. I was gonna say if you if you leaned over, I can move the RoboCam over that way. Okay. Show that. So you can get back over with the RoboCam and show them. Yeah. This see, way. There. See right there. Yeah. Yeah, you just can't even see it. Yeah. Resale. Totally. Can you sell a damaged canvas? So. This is sort of how it works in the art world. Mm -hmm. If I were Andy Warhol and my canvas tour, my client would bring me the painting because it would have an established value and ask me personally to repair it because there is a greater value, established value, in the original artist repairing their own canvas. It's a weird deal, but it is, right? Yeah. If you have a damaged canvas that has value and you, the artist isn't alive, you're going to have to take it to a professional restoration firm mm -hmm. that can give providence to that repair to retain the value and you will lose some value Every, anytime a canvas is damaged it does lose some value mm -hmm. and that really depends on market trends and the the rare rarity of the artist and the condition of the body of work in your own work like i'm at a craft fair i did a really great painting it got damaged i fixed it you can't really tell i'm obligated to tell the client that it was damaged, and that I repaired it. Right. You're obligated to tell the gallery of the client, period. Sure. Right? And a lot of artists won't. <clears throat> God demon. Now, if you're... It, it, I, was, I was curious. If you repair it yourself as the artist, do you initial the repair or in any way? I would say half of my friends that do repair and still resell, absolutely initial. Sometimes they include it in the Providence sheet of the painting. Mm, interesting. <clears throat> in art, any time that you can um, put yourself into it, you can explain yourself into the statement, if you can put yourself into the Providence, all the history of the painting. I mean, like, if you were, like, outsourcing the materials yourself, you should tell your clients that. Yeah. That, that all adds to the perceived value of the work. Now, a lot of times, though, you know what happens? No. Nope. got my spray bottle here. What happens? You get done dents. You know what I'm talking about? The little oh, the divots? Dents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dents, the divots in a canvas. Now, you can go buy a product for this at the art store. I never have in four decades. Yeah, this is, this is perfectly I'm timed. literally counting from being in a crib and painting with my mother yeah. <laughs> to now. <laughs> yeah. Have never bought the drum spray. I know some people that do that love it. And they swear by it, and they think it's great. I have just used um, bottled water, yeah. clean water, and a spray bottle. And I um, turn the canvas around. Once this would be all dry, I'll do the dry one. Well, it doesn't matter. It's fine. I'll just tighten this drum. And allow to dry. And if, 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 that, if it doesn't do it enough the first time... Do it again a second time. If it still doesn't do it, you may need to restretch or resquare your canvas, which is that your divot or your wrinkle may be in the wood. If your divot oh, or wrinkle yeah. is in the canvas, this will work. If your issue, if your wrinkle is in the stretchers, you're going to have to use keys, which we're going to talk about on another video, and we're going to have to square and sometimes even stretch. So, a couple questions here about moving canvases and prevention of tears. Hmm. So. If you're having to move a bunch of canvases, uh, multiple canvases, what's the best way of doing that? And if you have to do it in a car. <sighs> All right. So what I would say is if you build the, arc, the the conservancy box, there's some instructions like on the Golden website and they're out there. We build this like cardboard box and nothing touches the canvas. That is the best way. Creating your canvas, which can cost, what is it, like $100, $200? But we've spent some money creating a canvas. Yeah. Right, which again is a box with this strange containment that prevents your canvas from touching anything. Obviously the best way. When I've moved, I have um, absolutely <laughs> 
done what all of you have done, which is wrap my canvas in blankets and just tried to keep them separate and tried to keep them flat. And to the to the length of time that I'm going, right? Yeah. To the length of time that I'm going is the care that I put into that journey. Yeah. So if I'm like just going across town, the truth is they're just going to get wrapped in blankets and they're in the car and they're out of the car and I don't expose them to the heat. It is the heat temperature. Acrylic paint is harmed by cold and harmed by extreme heat. Yeah, now if I can say temperature. If I if I can say something on that cuz I've transported a lot of canvases. He has. Uh, just a ton of them. Yeah. And we move, have art. Yeah, and and typically I find that if I use a parchment-like paper, something that's non-stick in its nature, you know, uh, I I don't use wax paper, but I'll use like a parchment. What can really stick to the canvas? Yeah, wax wax paper. Can paper stick. can really stick to the canvas. You can, but yeah. you know, if you're gonna have, if you have control over the temperature of where the canvas will be, you can separate with paper yeah. because the acrylic will stay closed and it won't start to stick to things. Certainly never facing yeah. together yeah. because yeah, you're just gonna get thing. one canvas. Um, some artists like to pull it off the roll. I will put the name of the product. There is this weird plastic. Yep. That galleries love. It's like a cellophane, but it's not cellophane, to be really clear. And they put it over the surface of canvases, and then they roll them up, and they put them in tubes. The issue with that is, depending on the flexibility of the paint that you used, you can get cracks yeah. from the journey. So, and, yeah, Can you restretch a torn and repaired canvas? Pr- repaired quite properly, you should be able to. Yeah. Now, and, and now... Uh, uh, real quick, I just saw that scroll by here. But bubble now, so for so anyone who's moving it, be careful about bubble wraps or plastics or anything like that, because don't do the, it. If the temperature changes at all, actually, bubble wrap at all. Yeah, it, it, bubble wrap at all will um, divot your canvas. It leave those those impressions. Just so. acrylic is soft, so yeah. Yeah, it's it's one of those things that you really have to look at how textured your canvas is. If it's if it's like the one that Cinnamon's got behind her, that doesn't have a lot of texture on it. That the the one that you've just done. So I found that those are, are more more forgiving than ones that have real thick. I, well, I think light. that we've also had a lot of control in our moves. Yeah. Right. So I think the real advice here is is that your canvas has like certainly people have shipped me stuff with bubble wrap and it didn't come divoted. Oh no 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 yeah. Right, but it can really easily take on that texture. Um, at any point, if it gets, a, if it, you would never leave a canvas in a no. hot car. But did I have an art agent that used to stack them up with that plastic stuff on them in her hot car? Yes. Yes. So, I mean, what it is is like, um, it's your quality of life versus the value of the art. Yeah. I find in a mood, that's what I'm making a decision about quality of my life versus the value of my art. Do I want to create up a bunch of canvases? Like, if I'm like, man. And I'll just paint another one. Then I might do the stack with paper, right? I know I'm going across town. It's not a big deal. But we lost a ton going to Canada. Yeah. And, and we, it wasn't was, packed right. And mm-hmm. we lost a ton of art. And it was a hot mess. And that was, Absolutely. That, that was paid by a company to Yeah, do that, that said they knew how to pack art. Yeah. And when we came back, I ended up shipping it all myself. And we kept it in the car and really controlled yeah. the, the heat. And, and it, it all got fine. back. And it was all fine. So It's all fine. But the, the moving company that knew about art will not be named here. Professional movers shipped it incorrectly, and we lost almost a third of the collection. Yeah, a lot it, of my mom's artwork was damaged. She came and, you know, repaired it, but it just was damaged, and it was really upsetting. And guess what? Unless you carry a separate insurance writer, your artwork is not covered. Yep. At yeah. all. Yeah, if it's stolen out of your car or out of your house, unless you have separate art insurance, it doesn't count. So if you've got a divot, spray the back of the canvas with water. Yeah. might take twice. If it doesn't work, it's likely in your stretchers. And we've got to cover how to re-square and use those little wood. Mm. Those little wood pieces that come with your canvas, please save those. Those are called keys, and that's how you help re-stretch a drum we're if gonna it's have in to, the wood. We're going to have to do something on transporting, especially in cars, because mm-hmm. there's lots of people asking about lo- using like the non-stick silicon sheets for baking or I will things. get you the name of the actual <laughs> products, and you can bu- you can actually buy them. They're like in a roll. They're not like crazy expensive. They're gettable. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we'll do a we'll, trans- do a we'll do a boxing transporting art. Yeah, you That'd know definitely. Now, do we have enough enough questions to come back for post Q and A, or are we good? Yeah, I yeah, I think that we're, I think that we uh, we're oh, course. and you can varnish over this repair when everything is dry. I think that we've covered most of our questions here for today. Woo! Yeah, I think you know the, the there's. You it's know, pretty simple, isn't it? Now, now when you see your canvas be punctured, you're like, hey, fix it. 
Yeah, there's. You've got soft gel already in your art box. Probably have a palette knife if you've been goofing around with me. Now, what about varnish? Will it stick if it's varnished? Well, the yeah. Yeah, the varnish yeah. is still sticky. It's very similar. Yeah. No. No. It, it, so, say you have a varnish over it, and and you're doing the modeling paste. If you have a hard solivar varnish, you may have to buff it, and you can always sand before you put the paste down if you're at all concerned. Oh. And just go right over the top. I'm sorry. They were will uh, two varnished paintings stick together or stacked varnishes? Will they stick to to the the papers and things? So, there's a lot of questions about yeah. packing, shipping, and, and yeah, and just don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, you can you can go right now to the paint experts where they literally put two canvases. Out, you know what I mean? They they they, they test them, and you're going to see again and again that yeah. acrylic is little plastic beads in a polymer a polymer you know dries yeah. and they lock together and they're always open and they're they're like a swiffer here's yeah. what you don't know about your painting you're like a swiffer varnish is about creating a hard seal right that prevents the dust from getting in yeah good well, varnish we'll, we'll, is removable we'll absolutely do a transporting yeah. packaging one there but right now you can repair it you can repair it you don't even have to be like oh i can totally do that you can totally do that I love you guys. Thank you so much. We love you guys. It was really great to see you guys. Hope we'll see you again next next time. Saturday. Saturday. For, for oh wait. Oh wait, John. Yes. Hey, we're I'm in the not. streamies. It'd be really awesome if you vote for us. Oh yeah. Please, please, please. We would love okay. to have. Okay. Um. Yeah. We're gonna see you Saturday for a little red riding hunt. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Come join us live. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 11 a.m. Central, or enjoy one of the hundreds of paintings available on replay anytime.